Come on, Pinky. You can hold it up strong. <laughs> oh boy. This is gonna be an interesting video. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and I would say that kind of like the theme and feel of last week has kind of like carried forward into this week. Like I was still loving me some cool tone shadows, some kind of like neutral sort of lip colors. Was I liking neutral lip colors last week? I don't remember, but I'm liking neutral pinky sort of lip colors this week. So anyway, got some good things to talk about, so let's get to it. On my eyes this week, I've been loving an oldie but a goodie, my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. I really have not played with this in a long time, but every time I do, I love this palette. Like for those cool tones, those kind of like silvery sort of looks, it's so pretty. I feel like my pinky is like shaking. Like it's really, <laughs> can you see it? It's like really struggling to hold that palette up to show you. Anyway, come on, Pinky, you can hold it up strong. <laughs> oh boy, this is gonna be an interesting video. Okay, back to the palette. So what I got on my eyes today, I've got on this one, YDK, and then I've got this one, Verb. Those are two of my like standout favorites this week. Um, another one, I mean, really honestly those. And then I was putting my bronzer in my crease. That's pretty much what I was loving the most. A little bit of this, but mainly those two colors. So, okay, Pinky, you did a good job. You're done. Okay, here they are. <laughs> really pretty. I love that Verve is kind of like a, like, champagne-y, taupey silver. Like, it's not, it's not crazy bright silver. It's like a taupey champagne silver. It's really, really beautiful. I love it. They go well together. Gorgeous. Loving this thing. This is, this is a random thought. Oh dear. More tangents. This is my, um, Lealena cuff. Oh my gosh. I'm loving that one. What's my hand doing? We're all over the place today. <laughs> so anyway, that's a gorgeous palette. I love the colors. Those are the three standouts for me this week. On to something else. On my cheeks this week, I was using this palette. I don't think that this is still available, but I believe that all three of these are available individually, I think. This is the Becca Blushed with Light Blush Trio Palette. But really the standout color for me is, I think it's Wisteria. It's this one right here. I'm pretty sure it's Wisteria. That's what I'm wearing on my cheeks today. And it's just a beautiful neutral color, but the other two are gorgeous too. The middle one is Songbird. And this one is Snapdragon. Let me just show you. I'll just show you all three of them. Even though Wisteria is technically my favorite for the week, I'll show you the other ones just as a bonus. But it's just a gorgeous, like neutral everyday color. It blends so well. It wears really well. It's just a really nice quality blush. Like it's, it's really like a perfect formula. Um, and then Snapdragon has like this really beautiful brightness to it. I love that too. Didn't wear it this week. That's just a total like side note, but it's really beautiful. I don't know if I've worn this one at all at any point in time. I've worn this one before, not this week, but I don't know if I've worn that one, but it looks really pretty, very summery. But again, Wisteria is my favorite for the week just because it's that neutral, like it's a very neutral pink where it still gives that kind of like girly look on the cheeks, but it still goes with everything. And I love pinks and taupey colors together. I feel like they just complement, can speak, complement each other really nicely. So anyway, I was wearing that with my cool tone shadows. A highlighter that I was loving this week, and I've mentioned this before, technically it's an e.l.f. baked blush, but this is in Pinktastic. So technically it's a blush, but I mean, really, it's a highlighter. It's really a highlighter. Like, I don't know how you would just use this by itself, like as a blush. There's some that are kind of like borderline, but I mean, I'd say this is more a highlighter, but it's gorgeous. It's a very kind of like peachy champagne sort of a shade. I think the last time I mentioned this was around my sister's wedding in October. And I said that this was the highlighter that I wore on my cheeks, like, which I mean, that's what's so cool about makeup. It's like, you know, I've got some highlighters from the drugstore. I've got some from higher end places and it's like, I'm going to go with my $3 elf highlighter 
because I love it. Like, it's just, that was the choice. Like, I was wearing the um, Modern Renaissance palette to her wedding, and it just pairs so beautifully with those kind of like rosy, purpley sort of colors. And it wears well, it has a great texture to it, like it just blends onto the face so nicely. It's a great highlighter, so it's like, yeah, you can get a $30 highlighter just for funsies, but $3 ones, there's some really good ones out there, and this is one of them. And we are already on to lips. I have three standout lip favorites for the week. One that I was wearing by far the most this week that I just like love, love, love. So it's the standout favorite, but I have a couple others that I wore here and there that I really did enjoy too. So first off is this one. This is the Smashbox. Let me just get the box because that's the easiest way to tell you because it just, I have to read little tiny print on this, but this I can actually see it. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick and this is in Dream Huge. This is such a pretty color. Like in the container, I feel like it looks a lot more pink and it is a pink for sure, but when I wear this on my lips, it almost like looks more, um, oh, I don't even know how to describe it, but more kind of like neutrally rosy warm. Like I feel like it looks a little bit warmer on my lips when I actually wear it. In a swatch, I feel it, and in the container, I feel like it looks more pinky, but it's a beautiful color regardless. I like it in the container. I like it in a swatch. I like it on my lips. I like the formula too. Like it's, more of a traditional liquid lipstick, but I would say one of the more comfortable ones. Like it doesn't feel super drying. I think also it's the color. Like I just find, I like liquid lipsticks. I typically like them more if they're closer to my natural lip color, cause then it's not as big of a deal if there's the like, they're not their line. So this is kind of like in that category where it's, I don't know, like the really dark ones it's super obvious with that line. So it's not super duper obvious with this one. So anyway, really pretty, kind of rosy pinky color, like the formula. I think this is the only one that I have in these. If you have some other favorite colors, let me know because I really do like this. I think it's a great one. This was a random throw it on in the middle of the day lip color that I wore this week. This is the Merle Norman Lip Glaze, and this is in Berry Romantic. Really pretty packaging on it, it's just like bright and beautiful looking. These are really um, glossy and comfortable. Like if you, I don't know, really like more hydrating lip colors, I think you'd really like these because it's almost like they're a balm and a cream lipstick in one. Like they have a little bit more color to them than a balm, at least this one does. Um, but it still has that feeling of a balm. So that's why I say it's kind of like a mix between a really pretty pigmented cream lipstick and a balm. Not full on cream lipstick pigmentation, but more than a typical balm. I'm just like babbling on, you get the point. It's kind of in between. Um, this color is a really beautiful kind of like, I don't know, raspberry, rosy sort of a shade. Really, really pretty. And I think it's a good one for if you're wearing a liquid lipstick um, and you like, maybe things start to get a little bit weird. You can throw it in your purse and kind of like apply it over whatever situation is happening. And I feel like it just kind of like melds everything together and just makes it work. You know what I mean? So really pretty color, very comfortable. And then lastly, what I'm wearing on my lips right now that's definitely the standout favorite for me for the whole week, this is the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick and this is in Trivial. So I got this in this set. I just purchased this recently. This is the Sephora Favorites give me some nude lip and it's got so many good things in here like it's got an anastasia beverly hills liquid lipstick a Too faced lip injection um one of the mark jacobs glosses i think it's sugar sugar too which is one that i wanted um one of the tarte um, pencil-y sort of things and then one of the nars i don't remember what those are called but i really like them and i think that this one is in bound which again was something else that i wanted too so those are all mini sized, but then this comes in there and it's full size, which is awesome. I'd never tried this formula, so this was my first time trying this formula. And I would say the main reason that I love this is the color, for sure, because it's kind of like a metallic-y cream liquid lipstick. Um, so the color is what I love the most about it, but I do like the formula. Um, it's more of a traditional liquid lipstick, and I'd say it's definitely not moussey or super comfortable, but I don't think it's 
super uncomfortable either. Now I do feel like this kind of like metallic-y sort of color, it does show a little bit of like, it does make your lips look a little bit dry. Just like putting it out there. It does make them look a little bit dry, but I still really like it. Like I just really like that it's kind of like that rosy neutral metallic sort of um, a color. So it's just pretty, like it's just a pretty color. So that's what I love about it. But also it's almost that formula where it just kind of like feels like nothing on your lips. You know what I mean? Where um, it's not like it feels hydrating by any means, but it doesn't necessarily feel drying either. I'd say it's moving more towards that end of the spectrum, but really kind of in the like, doesn't really feel like anything on your lips sort of a feeling. Anyway, but I do notice if you apply more layers, it does feel a little bit drier. So I would say use the least amount possible um, and you'll be more comfortable in it. But anyway, I just really like this color. I enjoy it. I've been loving it this week. Um, and I really like this little set. That's the main thing I, that I've played with from the set so far, but I just think it's a really good one. It was $28 for all that stuff. That's awesome. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.